Oh no, I'm covering up chat. Yes. Indeed. There we go. It is called Lothric. Where the transitory yes, lands indeed, you are covering the chat. of Cinder converge. <laughs> also, don't mind the bad patchy background on my uh, ENG tuber. I'm going to get that fixed eventually, Inventory but it was a last North. minute fix. We were discussing Fendal. You mean our elf dilf? When the link of Go, I accidentally got killed. Pinned. <laughs> the bell tolls. Know what I'm gonna do for build wise? So we're gonna keep it the night, um, because that's my best starting point for what I want to do. But uh, I'll let you guys do the name, and uh, we can edit the character together. So we got slim, very slim, burly, very burly. <laughs> that looks odd on the female model. Ooh, she's built like a rectangle. Burly upper body, burly lower body, small head, big head, just burly. That's what I was thinking. It's funny that we give her such a pretty face, yet she's going to be wearing armor at all times. <laughs> Complaining to do a high poise build. <laughs> no, I'm not naming it that. Logan. All right, this is what we have for our, our, our girl. Uh, Kari. I like it. I like it. Get that guy out, and now we get to go after Gundir. I love this guy's lore. Hey! Got your phase one just fine. Oh, we can't roll for another 30 seconds. Logan, why have you done this to me? <laughs> well, by the time we get back there, we'll be able to roll. I gave it my best shot. The chunky boy. Gundir isn't the chunky one. I'd say Vort's the chunky one. I actually love Gundir. His armor is so awesome. I love wearing it around on my uh, tanky boys build. Bort do be thick. <laughs> you got two C's there. Bort is a three C thick. Like, l let's be honest. Bort's got booty. Uh-oh. Hey, we died with style that time. You know, forget it. Stop trying to parry. Ow. Oh. I missed! No, I missed again! I need to stop trying to meta do it and just do it the way I'm good at. It's just traditional dodge and beat the crap out of him. Boop. There we go. See, I was trying to be fancy, but I'm not good enough to be fancy. Let's see here. I wish I was more entertaining. Like, honestly, I wish I had high energy and I could be a high energy streamer. <laughs> because I've been watching, um... Oh, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? It's escaping me at the moment, even though I really love all her stuff. Akura, like I was just talking about her. I got the Claymore. That's what I wanted. Shempai! Oh, I love Shempai's videos and her Dark Souls stuff, especially. I am amazed I'm alive. 
The amount of greed I just exercised is not even K. Let's do more. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. This is going to get a lot harder now. Ah! You. Ah! Get the key, 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 get the key. Got the key. I got the key, that's all that matters. I got the SS shard too. Alright. That that that's enough. <laughs> that's good for me. <laughs> I'll take it. I just wanted to get that key. And I'll do mine. I love Grey Rat so much. Oh, he's so good. He's just such a friendly... Like He's a thief, but he's a good person. I should be wearing the silver stripper ring to get extra souls. Grey Rat, you deserve better. I know. No spoilers, T. We don't spoil it for chat, but he does deserve better. kind of going for it with this playthrough to experience the game with all of you that's kind of my goal uh this will like starting early was on purpose i do want to try to make this a long stream tonight um and get as far as we can in dark souls 3 tonight so uh we'll see how that goes but uh yeah gray rat is tragic sorry crystal lizard but you dropped such goodies I want a Crystal Lizard plushie. Like, I want one of these to cuddle with. Like, they look so cute, I hate killing them. But, like, it's necessary to get all the good upgrades. But no, uh, there's, there's not a single boss fight in Dark Souls 3 that I think is genuinely bad. Um, the worst boss fight, I would definitely say, is High Lord Wolnir, with the gimmicks of it. But even then, for a gimmick boss, he's not the better chaos. He's not bad, bad. So, and like, some people hate Curse Rot Greatwood. I like the Curse Rot Greatwood boss. All right, here we go. Mr. Thick with three C's. Vort. No, oh, he got us in the headbutt. How do you get so chunky? He's so skinny in other areas. Um, well, the lore. Because, yeah, you do see a shadow of him later in the game, traveling around through Irithyll. The lore is the ring he drops you. Um, the Pontiff Ring. Uh, it turned them into monsters. The Pontiff did it on purpose. And that's why Pontiff Sullivan is the most evil character in this game he is just terrible because he tricked Vort and the dancer by giving them these rings that just turned them into monsters it twisted them and mutated them and disfigured them so that's how Vort got so chunky about answer uh those two outrider knights you're talking about before the great wood in the grand archives there's also one uh at lothar castle those two are not vort they're just random outrider knights whereas vort and dancer are both specialist outrider knights where they were like the top tier head honchos of the outrider knights but uh they just got shafted worse I think Dancer, because she had inlaid powers, because it's it's not a confirmed, but it's highly, highly probable that she's actually a descendant of the gods. So that's why she became so powerful as the Dancer. But Vort spent all of his time with her. They were incredibly close. We don't know if they were romantic with each other, but... Even the lore on some stuff says wherever uh, the dancer was, Vort was never far behind. That's why their boss rooms are so close to each other. 
Um, so he probably became like this because he was trying to protect her. And so that power rubbed off on him. So they were just special cases. We got him. Tragic as Dark Souls is. Uh, every, every boss, every character has lore and almost all of them are tragic. Tell me more lore, Father No One. Um, well, name a NPC or a boss. Uh, I've I've listened to pretty much every lore video on YouTube about Dark Souls, Dark Souls Three especially, but probably every Dark Souls one as well at this point. Um, I'm actually going to my second channel that I'm working on is going to be me narrating lore for different games, such as Warhammer 40K. I'm planning to do Dark Souls. I'm also planning to do SCP Foundation narrations. Lore one. <laughs> and D&D narrations. Guinevere always slept around in the lore. <laughs> Boop. Booty. She had kids with the dragon. She did have kids with the dragon. And we can meet one in this game. There we go. Uh, Guinevere had kids with everyone. Oh, who? Oh, it's, um... Uh, the girl who gives you Dark Moon Blades. The one in the prison tower. She's a crossbreed. And she's also a daughter of Gwyn, so it has to be... Actually, no, Gwyn could have also laid with a dragon. I deserve that. Gwyn hated dragons, though. He did. But there was a dragon Gwyn respected. Remember? Seat the Scalus. Who do you think Gwyn banged? <laughs> oh, that must have been some hentai level crap there. Ugh. So, Seat the Scalus is a dragon. But he's a dragon with no scales. That's why his name is Seat Scalus. So picture a dragon with completely smooth, kind of reptilian skin. But instead of legs, he has like five giant tentacles. And Guinevere is a very pretty lady god. She banged Seat the Scalus. I question my life choices. Dark Souls lore is questionable in general, but it's really good. It's really good. Um, I, I'm not sure about making Dark Souls lore videos because they've been done and done incredibly well by some really awesome YouTubers. Finally have since ascended. What is the painting? Why is there multiple? So I don't know why the paintings exist in this world and why you can enter them as kind of a sub world, like a dimension. All I know is they've just existed. But because a painting is a painting, and over time, everything material rots away, the painted worlds in Dark Souls, they, uh, they do just that. They begin to rot away from the inside, and it just corrupts them terribly, and they fall apart. So every painting, before it rots away, needs to burn. So the denizens of the painting, they, uh, they burn the painting. Yeah, and the paintings exist to give a place to uh, people who don't belong in the outside world. Like a sanctuary. Now, we don't know how many paintings there have been, but the first one appears in Dark Souls 1, and another one appears in this one. Um, I believe we know there was at least one between them, but it's theorized there were a lot more. But yeah, no, when the painting starts to rot away, much like how in Dark Souls, the world starts to kind of come apart, and needs the fire to be relinked. Instead of uh, doing what the real world does in uh, rekindling the flame to drag it on, or like the painting's equivalent would be just let it rot and prevent it from rotting all the way, the uh, paintings were all burned so that a new painting could be created and exist. Um, and that's it, there's a parallel, and even one of the characters you meet in the painting says, um, the painting needs to burn. 
it's the one thing we do better than the outside world. Because in Dark Souls, the linking of the fire is uh, very important. Because basically, uh, the ages of this world are very specific in that they're triggered by very specific things and stuff. So um, basically, when the dragon's time was over, this this fire, the uh, this fire became a thing, and it burned, showing the age of fire with the gods, Gwyn. But so basically, while this fire burns, it was Gwyn's age. It was glorious. It was beautiful. Um, but the fire began to fade because it was time to usher in the next era, the next age. That age would be the Age of Dark, the Age of Humanity, instead of the gods. Um, Gwyn did not want to see his age die, because he was very arrogant. So, he went to that flame, the first flame, and threw himself onto it to relight it and keep it burning, to use himself as fuel, his soul. And his family basically tricked all the following humans and stuff to do it too. And because of how thrown off everything is in the world, the world of Dark Souls, time is not a uh, line like it should be. It's very complicated. Um, and there's different timelines running around and converging. It's, it's a cycle and it's basically Gwyn ruined everything. The end, Dark Souls lore. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha